in the Avengers, iconic Marvel superheroes are called to action in a daring, globe-spanning recruitment effort to assemble the Avengers team to defeat an unexpected enemy threatening global safety and security. Hi, I'm Samuel L. Jackson, and welcome to Made in Hollywood. Here is a scene from my upcoming film. War has started. And we are hopelessly outgunned. Director Fury, I think it's time. Each of the characters in Mustache. the Avengers have their own strengths and weaknesses. How would you describe those for your characters? Strengths and weaknesses. Um, um, I'll talk about Captain America's strengths. I'll give you yours. You can talk about mine. Sure. That'll be easy. Uh, the strength of the Captain America, I think, is uh, his nobility and his, uh, you know, willingness to put aside his own issues and, and uh, wants and needs and service, you know, mankind and, and others. You know? Well, Nick has a strong belief in, you know, justice and right. Uh, and there's a darkness in him also. Like, he and Natasha have this very interesting bond just because they've been in a, a shadow world and they understand you know that truth has shades of gray in it uh, and I think that's 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 part of his, his weakness that he doesn't really trust everybody that's around him. For strengths I mean the strengths are pretty apparent you know he, he, he's a god. He has good hairdresser. Fantastic head of hair. Mm -hmm. Good tan, good yeah. muscles and structure. Uh, you know he calls down lightning and he has a hammer that can split the earth and I mean his, his physicality, his attributes are, it's a long list. Uh, weakness, um, you know, I, it's, it's funny because I think initially it was looked at as a weakness but I think it's developed into a strength was his kind of single-mindedness, you know, he kind of believed what he believed and that was it. You here with a mission, sir? Trying to get me back in the world? Trying to save it. I have been waiting for this film for so long. You don't even know how excited I have been. And it completely exceeded my expectations. I loved it. How do you go about even starting to write a screenplay when you bring together all of these big characters? Uh, you know, I start with the characters. I start with um, who are they? You know, how do they declare themselves? Uh, what, what do they like about each other? What do they hate about each other? You know, what, those, char those character moments are going to be the thing people take away. No matter how good the action is, no matter how fun the adventure is, the thing people are going to remember is, is who these guys were, if they're funny, you know, if you care about them. And so that's where I start. How desperate are you? And you call on such lost creatures to defend you. How excited were you when you found out that you were, you were really going to be able to expand on your character, Loki? I'm just more excited than I have ever been about anything. I mean, it's like, um, it's like in, in, in the movie Thor, I got to kind of, I got to build a boat. And, and finally he was sort of assembled at the end of that film. And then in this film, I got to set sail. Doctor, we need you to come in. What if I say no? I'll persuade you. My favorite part of this film is getting to see all of these characters finally come together and be in one space. Sometimes they agree, sometimes it can get really messy, but it really shows their colorful personalities. What would you say your characters bring to the group? Oh, I, I think my character is really, I, I, I mean, I'm the only girl in it, so I think that takes the testosterone level that balances out slightly. And that's something that Joss, I think, cares about and that I think is really important. And it's why this movie seems to be really scoring with female audiences, not just because of all the uh, dishy superhero guys, but also because of, you know, there's some women out there kicking just as much ass. Mm -hmm. I have the job of, well, it turns out to be manipulation more so than uh, <laughs> management. <laughs> But manipulating them and getting them to think, you know, it's their idea to become one. Well, mine was, I was the newbie, so I was just excited to be introduced into this group. Um, but it was cool to still be a newbie and get these great moments on screen. Being able to work with these actors, you know, this is, this opportunity doesn't come along uh, very often. And so mm -hmm. you just get to, it's, it's, it's been such a blessing, you know, you, you don't know who to expect when you're on set with these people and you understand that there's a good chance we're making a lot of these and uh, 
I just can't say it enough. We ju we're just so blessed that everyone got along so phenomenally well. She's incredibly beautiful, hot, oh. smart, sexy, and attractive. Thank you. But also <laughs> doesn't you. suffer fools kindly. And that's She's a lot like you, actually. Oh, oh isn't that nice? We're not a team. We're a time bomb. Had your own films, you starred in your own films, so coming together, I wondered if you, if it was weird for you that you had to share the screen with other actors, or if it was fun for you guys because you could just play with each other throughout the film. Was it fun to? Yeah, it was great. It was nice to share the load. You know, we'd done our individual films, and and that was the pressure was on your shoulders. Whereas this, it was, I was turning up and being able to kind of stand in amongst these guys, and hopefully someone, you know, their fan base would kind of <laughs> fall in my direction, and you know. It was all kind of, it was a much easier journey than yeah. your, your own, you know, you know. Well, you know, they created themselves to an extent. I mean, these people are all extraordinarily magnetic. They're movie stars, and with good reason. Um, so, you know, they, they, there's none of them who sort of fades into the woodwork. They're all gonna, they're all gonna pop, they're all gonna make themselves known. Joss and I w worked hard on, on, you know, finding out where he's, come, where he's coming from, who he is at this time. I'm no, I'm no stranger to darkness, so I didn't have to do a lot of, uh, I didn't have to do too much preparation to, to tap into that. You actually did play the Hulk as well because you did the motion capture. So it wasn't just animated. Mm -hmm. Was there a lot of physicality still to your role? Yeah, I, I did everything that the Hulk does in the movie I did at some point. Big man in suit armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. <laughs> well, you were the screenwriter for the film as well and there were some really funny lines. Were those lines ones that you came up with, or did the actors come up with it, or how much did they bring to their character because they had worked on their character before? Well, um, everybody brought, brought varying degrees of involvement. Um, generally speaking, uh, those lines are mine, but a lot of Robert's, you know, came from our collaboration. Some just came from Robert, um, you know, and uh, all of them, you know, the way they would talk to me about their characters might inform what ways in which I could, uh, you know, give them that kind of humor. Because if we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn well sure we'll avenge it. I was in a scene where they were all at the conference table figuring out the next move, and I was able just to sit back and just take it all in. It's like a big kid's dream. Yeah. There's, there's Iron Man and the Hulk sitting right next to each other, yeah. hanging out with Thor and Captain America. Absolutely. <laughs>